flank steak. It's not just for tacos anymore. Let's put these babies on. Listen to that sizzle, baby. That's right, we're gonna take a flank steak, we're gonna do something different with it. Not tacos, no, no. We're gonna take it, we're gonna butterfly it open, which means we're gonna cut it open like this, lay it flat, stuff it with provolone cheese, spinach, red peppers. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Let's get started, but first, before we do that, you have to hit subscribe, yeah. Give us a thumbs up, ring the bell, get notifications whenever we put out a video. Now, let's get to butterflying, baby. Okay. Now, we got that nice and butterfly. Butterfly means when you slice it down the middle and you open it up like this so it lay it flat. Um, be very careful. Don't go all the way through. You want to leave just a little bit of edge there so that you can open it up and not have two separate pieces. One piece. That's the trick. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to layer it with provolone, some roasted red peppers, some beautiful spinach right here. We're going to layer it, roll it, tie it, and cook it on the art of flame. It's going to be just awesome. Wait till you see the crust. Okay, the first thing we want to do is layer down a full layer of provolone. We might even go two layers. We'll see. The more cheese, the better. I like my steaks like I like my jokes. Cheesy, baby. Cheese, spinach, peppers. You know the only thing missing? More cheese, baby. Let's put one more layer. All right, we've been doing this for about 18 minutes now, and I think I've lost 14 pounds <laughs> in heat sweat out here, but this looks so beautiful. It's gonna be a little tough to roll up because it is really thick, but we're gonna roll it up, we're gonna tie it, we're gonna cut it into slices, and we're gonna cook it on the cast iron plancha. Now, the way we're gonna roll this is we're gonna roll this so that once we do it, the grains are gonna be going this way. We're gonna cut our slices along the grains with the grains so that our final bite, when we cut it, will be across the grains. That's really important. When you cut it to eat it, you wanna be cutting across the grain so you have a nice tender bite as opposed to a chewy bite. got it stuffed, we've got it rolled. Now we got our handy dandy kitchen twine. We're gonna tie it in about one inch increments because what we're gonna do then is we're gonna slice it into chunks right between each slice of string. So let's tie this baby up and then we'll get to cutting. Well, the hard part's done. Now we're just gonna slice it into slices between the strings so that they stay together when we cook them. We're gonna light the fire. Wait till you see how we light this fire. Oh, oh, oh it's so cool. I can't wait, here we go. As you can see, we cut these into these beautiful looking pinwheels, gorgeous color, yes. Last thing left to do, gonna fill the grill up with eucalyptus charcoal, light it and cook, baby. It's gonna be good. And this is how we light fires. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I told you it's really hot out here. Let's see if this thing's hot enough. What do you think? Yeah, I think it might be. Now, when we're cooking on this, it's just like cooking in a cast iron pan. All right, here we go. It's pretty non-stick already, but the oil just helps it out a little bit extra. Let's put these babies on. Oh yeah.
cooking is done. It's literally over 100 degrees out here right now. I had to do something to cool off a little. So my favorite part, the eating time. Let's take a bite. The first thing I did is I took the strings off. I remembered that part. Oh yeah, nice bite. Spinach, peppers, cheese. Cheers. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, hooked on barbecue. Awesome idea. Mm, so good. That cheese gets this beautiful crust on it. It turns like brown and gets almost crispy to it. Oh, it's so good. That red bell pepper in there was a really good idea. That's a nice addition. Flank steak, you gotta make sure. Again, remember, cutting it across the grain when you're eating it, otherwise it's gonna be tough. Anyway, delicious meal, super easy to make. It looks a little bit difficult. It's really easy to make. Try it out for yourself. Anyway, remember, get out and grill, subscribe to our channel, okay? Subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. It's easy. Anyway, get out and grill. Thanks so much for tuning in for another week at Fogo Life. See you next time.